Hello you guys, this is Gabriel Iglesias, the artist formerly known as Gabriel Iglesias. That's right, I had a little change, it was kind of funny. So, we're coming to you live from Culver City, California, home of Maker Studios, home of amazing parking. Thank you, Makers. Got to park in the front, not like before, we made me park in the back. That sucked. So, this week I'm featuring a friend of mine who I've known for my whole comedy career. His name is Larry Omaha, and uh... I was very excited that I got a chance to have him on my show, and you guys are going to enjoy him, you're going to love him. Please, give it up for Mr. Larry Omaha. I never felt like I fit into my family. I asked my mother if I was adopted. She goes, no, son, you're not adopted. We won you at the powwow. <laughs> All our toys were donated. We would get defective toys donated to us. I had a Scrabble game with no vowels. How many points for guh guh guh? <laughs> the only kids I could play with were the ones who stuttered. <laughs> Had a Monopoly game, no hotels, and all the houses were repos. <laughs> no fun, childhood was no fun. I was not a spoiled kid. Not like today, so many parents spoil their kids. My neighbor brags about it. He says, yeah, let my kid cruise around town in a $60,000 Lexus. I said, so what? I let my kid cruise around town in a $200,000 Metro bus. <laughs> he sends his kids to karate and taekwondo. I drop my kids off in Chinatown, they'll learn to fight. My mother won't celebrate Thanksgiving. She says it represents the white man stealing our land. But she's not angry, she's not angry. She figures, ah, what the hell, we're taking it back one casino at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an Apache buddy, he's real slow. They named him Runs Like a Cow. His brother's fast, they named him Flying Eagle. His sister had nine kids, they named her Spread Eagle. <laughs> Freaks. My Indian name is Sleeps in the River. I was a bedwetter. They say bedwetters are very deep, deep sleepers, and that's true, because I almost drowned. Not an easy life, not an easy life. My earliest memory, I was about six years old, I was standing on a shipping dock and I'm watching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of white folks get onto this giant cruise boat. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I ran all the way back to the reservation and I said, Grandpa, your dream's coming true. They're leaving. <laughs> I hated Halloween. Most kids love Halloween. Dress up as Mickey Mouse, Spider-Man, Batman. My father dressed me up as an immigration officer. <laughs> Took me trick-or-treating in the Mexican neighborhood. <laughs> I got my ass kicked by a Tinkerbell Chola. <laughs> my Caucasian buddies complained that they came from a broken home. I said, hey, I came from a torn tent. <laughs> they said, yeah, Larry, but our families were dysfunctional. I said, hey, I was breastfed by my grandma. Have you ever tasted milk past the expiration date? There you have him, you guys, Mr. Larry Omaha. Please follow him or he's going to follow you. That's how he rolls. Right there. Hit him up on Twitter or hit me up on Twitter or subscribe to my channel. Ray, I'm only 7.9 million subscribers away. I thought you said it was 7.8 million last week. Yeah, but I pissed him off and he took some of them back. So anyway, I'll see you guys next week right here on Stand Up Revolution, the highlight show. Later. OMG, girl. <laughs> Can't believe I found you. <laughs> right back. Let's talk about the good old days. <laughs> no! You were a bitch! <laughs>